It's Orange Umbrella time! Hey everybody, it's Orange Umbrella here with our newest Watch Me Draw video called Drawing an X-Wing. Essentially, it is what it is. I'm drawing an X-Wing. Now you notice a whole bunch of spots where I cropped out video. This is pretty obvious due to the fact that this actually took me more than three hours to draw. And um, trying to put all of the video in there just wasn't going to work. I tried to and it would have still been a half an hour long even going as fast as I can make it. So that was for your benefit so bear with me through all of the fade in and fade outs. Um, I've always loved Star Wars I just felt like it's a fun story you know and there's a whole bunch of different um, literature that supports it you know and you can go in there and delve into all of the fan created myths and little idiosyncrasies of the little universe that they've got you know and you can have all this little detailed fun you can literally get into arguments with people about characters that don't exist because everyone just feels so strongly about it you know and so for that reason i've always loved star wars is because it's its own universe pretty much and uh it's just it's a lot of fun you can you can make up these little characters that go in the world and everyone understands them because they love it too you know and uh, here you're looking at it, and you're already probably able to look at it and tell that I put R2-D2 in, um, in the seat, because why not? It's R2-D2, you know? And uh, I always, I love doing pieces like this, because it just brings back such a sense of nostalgia. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's a lot of fun. Um, to be perfectly honest, I didn't do all of this from memory, go figure, right? I had a couple of pictures that I used for reference. And um, I can't say that I did it all for me, but I can say that the person who I made this for is going to be very happy with it, which, you know, in turn makes me happy because, you know, that makes me money. So <laughs> um, if you guys are enjoying all the little tiny details that I put into this one, uh, let me know because granted it took a ton of extra time, but look at that. Isn't that so sharp? I mean, like, for real. I feel like the extra time was almost worth it here just because it's such a great payout at the end it's so satisfying to look at and um just getting it to this part right here probably took 45 minutes and that is no exaggeration at all and uh you're thinking 45 minutes he said three hours what else could there be in this picture well just because all you saw in the thumbnail was the sketch doesn't mean that's the finished picture does it now, you guys didn't think I would do that to you. Nah. Okay, so essentially what's going on is I'm just putting in all the black spaces I can with this pen. And I'm going to fill them in as I go. But if I keep talking about this X-Wing, I have a feeling this video is going to get boring. So instead of talking about that, I could tell you about what I did yesterday. And uh, now you guys are all probably thinking, who cares what you did yesterday? But listen, so this is kind of interesting. I was like... Okay, so I, I, do th I do things that no one else does, first of all. I'm a music guy. Aside from just getting into drawings, I also do music. And you're thinking to yourself, okay, that's not so weird. You know, you're artistic. Big deal. Stop rubbing it in. Well, it gets better. So I got bored just being artistic, right? So I decided I would try out my brother's old saxophone. Now, he used to play it down in, um, in a high school, but he really he never um, put a whole lot of time into it. And, uh, and it just kind of started sitting around in different places in the house. And, uh, and essentially, it wasn't a bad thing. It just meant that it wasn't for him, you know. So, um, so it, he left it sitting around, and I was like, you know, I think I'm going to try playing that sucker. So yesterday, I went over and I unboxed it. You know, I started putting the thing together. I got out his level one curriculum book, which I'm always... I always have a hard time getting out a level one curriculum book when I'm dealing with anything with music because I hate feeling like I'm a complete uh, newbie at something. But in truth, if it's something I'm a newbie at, I feel like I should be treated like one. So I went out and I got out his level one book and I sat down and I started learning notes, you know, and I was like, man, I forgot how fun it is to pick up a new instrument, you know. I mean, it's probably been since, I don't know, a year and a half ago since I actually picked up a new instrument and just started playing it. So here I am squeaking and squawking the dogs are barking all across the house and uh and i realize you know i really I, I think i know pretty much all the notes that i need to know to start you know doing my own songs with this now so here i am blaring away on a baritone 
Uh, sorry, not a baritone, it's a tenor saxophone. I'm still kind of unfamiliar with the thing. Here I am blaring away on a tenor saxophone in the house, you know, uh, doing hymns that I'm familiar with from church and all these other things, just improvising my way around, and then it, it just it occurs to me that I've only actually been playing this instrument for like an hour, and I'm already starting to fool around with it. And I was like, man, I wonder if anyone else experiences this kind of thing. Now, um, I know you guys probably wanted to see me do every individual marking in the sky there, but I decided to take that joy and pleasure away from you. Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even want to watch me do that. My hand still hurts thinking about it, and that's not even the worst part. I mean, making the Death Star? Oh my gosh. I was literally, my hand was cramping by the end of it. I was almost like, you know, give me a new hand or something. I'll cut it off and just give me a new one. I mean... That's the problem with such intricate details, is it hurts by the end of it. Guess it means I should be drawing more, huh? I mean, go figure, an artist on YouTube should be drawing. Hey, there's R2-D2. Hey, buddy. There we go, putting in some of the identifiable markings, so that way you guys will be able to recognize this as an X-Wing from Red Squadron. Anybody know what Red Squadron was? What the Red Squadron was? Anybody? No? Okay. Well, if you ever think of it, and you remember it from the movies, or you go back and check it just because I said that, put it in the comments below, because, you know, everyone knows their Star Wars facts, right? So, essentially, I'm just, this is something that you can do if you have a perspective point. This, um, this particular X-Wing that I used, uh, was, was drawn with, like, a dynamic perspective, which made it a lot of, uh, fun to draw here because I could play with the stars going past it and make it look like there's just a lot more action going on in this scene. So, um, oh, this is the part that really hurt my hand. I, I swear by the end of this, I was cramping so bad. Okay. So, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm literally like going to put out every single stupid star. Yeah. Fortunately, I don't have to make it like, you know, accurate to any maps or graphs or anything like that due to the fact that this is in a galaxy far, far away and not in my backyard, so I'm not looking for the Big Dipper or anything here. You know, Orion can go sleep somewhere else because I don't really have to draw him, so that's pretty good. And, um, okay, so talking about Star Wars, though, has anyone seen anything for the new Battlefront? I, I'm kind of excited about it because I felt like the old Battlefront was a letdown. Uh, sorry, not the old, I mean like the last one that they made, because I was a fan of the old, old Battlefront. I played it when it was popular on the computer, and um, and I had a lot of fun doing that. So um, I, I was kind of let down when the new Battlefront really wasn't very much at all like the old one. So if anyone knows anything about the new Battlefront and, and feels like it's probably going to be similar to the old one, I would love to hear about it, because to be honest, that's what I've been waiting for to get back into Star Wars, so... Uh, if, if you could do that for me, I would really appreciate it. And uh, back on topic, though, does anybody love X-Wings? Just, like, have a thing for X-Wings, you know? Like, you know, I, I guess I guess some people it's blondes, but other people it's X-Wings, because I just, I don't know. These things are, like, super sleek, you know? They're, like, aerodynamic to a T. Actually, aerodynamic to an X, I guess, if you think about it. And uh, they're just, I don't know, they, they just, they look so cool. You know, it doesn't even take Mark Hamill to make it look cool. It just, it looks cool. So um, let me know what you think about X-Wings and which ones are your favorite fighters. You know, which generation of X-Wing is your favorite. All these in the comments below. Be sure and tell me because I am definitely interested. Here's a closer look for you guys. This means that the movie is coming to an end. So please don't forget to comment below. And also don't forget to subscribe because you'll be the first to know when any new movies come out. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you later.